Hey folks, Cliff and Dave here. Most homeowners need to buy an air conditioner at some point. And there's different types of air conditioners you can buy. There's obviously different manufacturers, but there's certain types of air conditioners that you can select from. And we've got Dave here to help explain the basic types of air conditioners so that you can decide what's best for you. Dave, explain the two basic types of compressors, condensers that people can buy. Well, there's a, a one speed and a two speed. That's simple enough. Now, one speed is basically what people already have in their homes if they have an older one. Exactly. And what does the one speed uh, do? It's just a. Well, the one speed will do a great job, and we've talked in other segments about sizing and doing everything correctly for it to remove humidity. But if you really want to take care of the humidity issues in your home and be more comfortable, even at a higher temperature, you want to look for a two-speed air conditioner. Folks, I gotta tell you, this is the subject that gets Dave going. Two-speed air conditioners, and they should, because they are remarkable, Dave, when you combine them with a variable speed air handler. Now, before we go to the two-speed, what is a variable speed air handler, and why should someone consider having a variable speed air handler? Well, a variable speed air handler will help you dehumidify even with a one-speed unit, because it has precise control over the air. It's not like your typical blower motor that you've got two or three or four speed taps. It kind of has infinite ones, and it knows where to put it for what you want to do. It's going to deliver X amount of air to cool your house. When it's time to dehumidify it, it sees the humidity rising in your house. It's going to deliver less air because less air will dehumidify better. Now, Dave, wouldn't you say that the variable speed really shines when you can put it with a two-speed compressor? that can control moment to moment what that air conditioner is doing. Explain that to folks. Exactly. The two speed is going to operate around 65, 70 percent of the full capacity on the low speed. On the high speed it's going to be 100 percent of the capacity similar to the one speed air conditioner. But when you don't have that great need to cool your house it's going to operate on the lower speed. And there is that great need because every air conditioner is way too big for your house at night with no sun shining. And folks, what's, what's so neat about the two-speed is it, it dials in for the particular season you're in. If it's January, February, and you might need more warming, it works there. If it's the milder months, it goes at its low speed. And that's why it's so efficient to use. How cool is that? Think about getting a two-speed air conditioner. If you've got any questions or comments about either single speed, variable speed, or two-speed, you can post them below or get more information from our website. You've been chilling with Cliff and Dave. Now, how cool is that?